Hey guys and girls, in today's video we're going to be replacing the 2K LCD screen on the Elegoo Mars. So I had some FET problems last time and now I've got um, a little dead area in the LCD screen. So um, if you look on screen now you can see, see what I mean and you just run the test and you can spot that quite easily. So the first thing to do is to undo four screws on either side and loosen the two screws at the top. I wasn't sure if you needed to loosen the two screws at the top and actually you can probably get away without it but um, just to be safe loosen it just a little bit um, it holds the top red um, metal part on so don't take them all the way out don't take the top ones all the way out okay so you get a little tool um, that comes with the Mars this is perfect uh, for these so you do use the tool that came with it if you haven't got the right tool then you can obviously find an Allen key that will fit okay so I'm just spinning it around to the other side now and I'm going to take out the other four screws and actually my um, metal back plate wasn't on properly um, as you saw it just pinged off slightly it wasn't actually lined up um, which would have happened in the factory which is um, a little bit disappointing but so you can see I'm just uh, I'm just gonna grab a different um, sized Allen key here to do the ones on top now I wasn't sure about whether we had to do this um, so I did just loosen them slightly, but the, the, you can probably get away, like I say, with not doing that. Okay, so the 2K LCD screen is, um, I managed to get mine off Amazon for £17. Um, they range between £17 and sort of £30, so just have a look around. So I'm sliding the front off very carefully. There is a ribbon cable attached to that front screen, okay? So be really careful when you pull that forward. There's a little bit of black tape. You want to peel that off and put it to one side. We'll be using it again to reattach um, later on. Let's put that somewhere safe. And then we're just going to very, very carefully, you can see in here, we're just going to push up gently on that black, um, black clamp and then that just pulls off and releases. Okay, now there are a couple of different board types and uh, mine's quite straightforward so I don't need to put any extenders on the cable um, but if you've got one of the older boards you will need to put an extender on that comes in the box and what I'll do is I'll put a little I'll try to put if I try to put a, um, a link to a video that shows the other board type in the description um, I could have used a little bit of Creative Commons and you know just borrowed the video and put it in here but I'm not gonna do that um, but if you've ordered recently, then you should have one of the newer boards and it shouldn't be an issue. Um, so I'm just taking the, the, making sure the back off now. And so I am loosening that one a little bit. Did need to loosen that a bit. Take the two side screws out and we just slide the back panel off. So, so far it's not too tasking. You are gonna need some sort of craft knife um, to remove the actual screen. Uh, which obviously I'll show you when you get to I've got a Rollison um, Stanley blade that I'm going to use so the back just slides off and you can see there where I've loosened those four screws on top it's actually slanted slightly because you can see that's how that holds on so I am actually just figuring that out now I'm gonna just tighten those back up just so it doesn't um, fly all over the place okay so just do, do one up for now okay and once that's all done we are good to proceed this is actually quite a simple fix um, I was thinking it was going to be a lot 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 more challenging than it was um, but I'm actually super impressed with how how easy this is so on the board peel the black tape off so this is a bit I think this is a B or C board if you're looking at some of the diagrams online okay peel that off Okay, and put that tape to one side, okay, and that just pushes in and out, it just sort of pops on. It's a little bit of a tight fit, you just got to get it in the right place and push when you get to that point. So you're going to take the blade, okay, be really careful, and I'm just going to slide it underneath the screen and just use it to leverage up that screen. This screen is extremely thin. Okay, it wasn't anything like I was imagine, you know, imagining or had seen before. So extremely thin, okay, super, super thin. Okay, so that's all done. Now there are four little sticky pads 
around the edge and in the box for the uh, the new screen you will get replacements so this is the screen I got okay um, you will get replacement sticky pads now I I'm not going to use those pads because actually the ones that are on there are fine they're still really sticky they didn't pull out with the L, um, LCD screen so they're good to go so I'm just unboxing now really carefully it's got a little thick cover on top these are the little pads okay so if you want you can clean out all of those little black sticky things on there and, and re reapply some new ones but for me it's all about easiness you know if it's there if it's sticky I'm gonna stay I'm just gonna keep it there okay so I'm just having a look just checking over the screen making sure it looks okay taking it out really carefully okay and um, yeah that's the little extender so if you've got an a board um, it's literally you just basically attach it and it's like um, an extension little extension cable that goes okay so to install the screen we take the protective film off the bottom um, but not the top leave the one on the top there okay you just feed the cable through the side of the machine and just very carefully place the LCD onto uh, the sticky pads that are already there okay and that's that I'm happy with that just very gently apply a little bit of pressure around the LCD edges to make sure it stays in place uh, and then turning the machine around so as we can see the side so this literally just clips back onto the board um, it's a little bit fiddly I found this the trickiest bit it's just getting it sort of lined up to be honest um, and getting your hands in there to be able to to um, push it on okay so get it lined up and then give it a push like I say this is the fiddly bit And this is the bit where you would, uh, if you had a different board, you would have to put the um, little extender cable on to get it to go round the, round the corner. And um, you'd probably have to take the red red top off um, to be able to get to the board. Um, the board, I think it's board A's are really fiddly. I'm then going to place the black sticky tape that I saved earlier over the top. And just press firmly down and that secures that back in place okay and that's the screen actually installed so now all we have to do is put everything back together so I'm going to start with the the back so again you just reverse what you did to start with so the back slides on two screws on either side and then um, we'll be good to put the front back on and then we'll get it tested and we'll run a test print off just to make sure it's uh, it's working okay so yeah do comment below and um, if you've got an Elegoo Mars or a Saturn or a Mars 2 Pro, let me know what sort of things you've been printing and are you subscribed to any really cool Patreons who are doing 3D modelling at the moment. Um, yeah, so I, I quite like Eastman, um, Hex 3D, anything like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so just popping those screws in, not over tight, just, you know, tension tight and that's good to go right so the ribbon cable, ribbon cable at the front again we've just got to reverse what we did to take it off so place it down and then we're just going to slot the uh, ribbon cable back in we're going to make sure that little black clamps pushed up so this is a gap in the middle you see the little gap just here okay and then you just slot that in and it's, it doesn't click or anything, it's not, nothing like that, so you just, just push it in. Okay, make sure it's kind of lined up straight. Okay, hold it in place. Oh. And then just pull down on the little black, um, little black connector, and that's it. It'll lock it into place, and then that's good to go. Um, so see, there's no gap there now. Okay, that means it's on properly okay and a little bit of black tape 
that we took off earlier. Pop it back across, just holds it in place, a little bit of extra security. Okay, and slide it back on. And then two more screws either side. Once the two screws are once the two screws are in each side, I'm then going to just tighten the top up. Just make sure the um, the top's all tight and get it set back up, ready for printing. So hopefully this will resolve some of the issues I've had. Not sure why this one's actually quite awkward to get get on. Could be a slight bow in the uh, the metal maybe. But once the screws in, um, it wasn't really an issue. Okay, so we're just running a test to check the screen's working. So exposure next, and it will generate the turn on all the lights that we need and we just check it for any sort of dead patches if you want to check the whole screen there is one on thingiverse file i'll link in the description that can light up the whole screen which will show you any um, blank areas and this is a test print first test print of it um, not too bad there's one little support fail um, but that is probably my settings so looking pretty good happy with that uh, please remember to subscribe hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and I would appreciate it so much um, thanks for watching catch you next time